there's a missing effect in Galaxy's Edge. And it should be in this attraction right here, Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. Every time I'm in the queue for this ride and get to the chess room, I always look over at that empty checkered table and think to myself, it would be so cool to see little hologram monsters battling on that board. If you're not familiar, I'm talking about a game in the Star Wars universe called Dejarik, or Hollow Chess, and it's made several appearances in various Star Wars films like A New Hope, Force Awakens, Solo, and Rise of Skywalker. And today, I'm gonna attempt to make my own version of this hologram effect to get a better idea of what Imagineering could create to bring this hologram to life in the Millennium Falcon at Galaxy's Edge. But first, let's quickly go over how Disney has achieved hologram illusion and some of their other attractions. They've used a handful of different methods, some using screens and 3D glasses like in Star Tours, or OLED displays and mirrors like in Rise of the Resistance. But the hologram that I really want to talk about is the one that you were once able to find in Disney's defunct Galactic Star Cruiser. This was Disney's Star Wars themed live action role playing experience that also happened to be a hotel made to look like a luxury spaceship. And as a part of this two day experience, there was a scene with Rey in the lightsaber training area where they opened up a holocron where Yoda would appear in the form of a hologram. Now from what I've gathered, I believe this illusion involves a rapidly moving blade with LEDs on it that's able to ping pong back and forth so quickly that the display becomes almost entirely invisible. Now these hologram fans have been around for quite a while and a ton of websites sell them. You can find them for less than a hundred bucks, but there are others that can get pretty pricey. We'll talk more about those a little later. So let's pick up one of the more affordable ones and see if we can create our own hologram using an LED fan blade. Now even though they call these things 3D hologram fans on the product listings, I'm sure you already know but these graphics aren't actually three dimensional. But you can create the illusion that these 2D videos are 3D if you use a visual that has the right animation to it, like a free floating object that's spinning 360 degrees. But before we dive into the hollow chess illusion, I want to try and create a free floating hologram of one singular character, like you see in the Galactic Star Cruiser, just to get a feel for it. But instead of a hologram of Yoda, let's go with Kylo Ren. The main reason for this is I was able to find an action figure of him at the store, so that's just going to make things a whole lot easier. And two, Kylo is wearing a helmet, which means we don't have to do any fancy animating to his mouth, like we would with Yoda. I tried manipulating Yoda's mouth with some janky software, and it looked really scary and really bad. Yoda, Yoda. So. Kylo it is. I put the Kylo Ren action figure on a black background and placed him on a motorized spinner. It was important to illuminate him really well to separate his black cloak from the black background. As a side note, I know that holograms in the Star Wars universe don't typically spin when it's a person trying to virtually communicate with someone, but they do occasionally spin when it's displaying an object like a ship or even someone that has a bounty over their head. So that's what this is gonna be. Just wanted to let you guys know. I did a little color grading and added some light rays to the clip and then imported the video to the LED fan blade app. So I'm struggling with the Kylo Ren hologram just a little bit. There's this banding that goes across his image, sort of this dark spot that wipes across the display. And I've tried every shutter speed on my camera. I just can't seem to eliminate it. So I think we're gonna just lean into it and call it hologram artifacting. That's what we're gonna do. Sorry guys. And here it is. With the right positioning and lighting, I think it could pass as a free floating hologram. I used a battery operated LED light with a blue gel on it as the hologram transmitter and used a TV as a digital backdrop. I also had a mannequin hold the transmitter because I needed it to be as close to the spinning fan blade as possible without hitting it. Cause that did happen a couple times when I tried holding it. Ah! This hologram looks fine on video, but just out of frame, as you might expect, we have a stand that is suspending the fan and it totally ruins the illusion if you wanted to display this in the real world. It just wouldn't be very effective. This is where our hollow chest board will come in handy for our next test. We can use the board to conceal the bottom half of the spinning fan blade. I actually bought this collectible online from the Disney store, and to my surprise, this isn't just a prop. It's a playable game, and it comes with little figures that even light 
light up when you bring them close to the board. Next, I gathered some images of the monsters and assembled them into a nice little composite, carefully arranging them so I could clearly see each figure. Sadly, I did end up removing a few of them so I could scale them a little larger on the fan. Then I added some subtle motion to the creatures using a program called Runway, just to give them a little life. Now it's time to modify the hollow chest board. I started unscrewing the bottom half to see what was inside before any cuts were made. There were a ton of screws in this thing. Once I disconnected the top and bottom, my friend Joel removed the copper wiring around the perimeter of the board, as well as the entire top checkered plate. Then he began cutting the battery box out with the Dremel because it was going to interfere with the cut that we were going to have to make for the fan blade. Once that was gone, Joel made our first cut in the top of the board. Then we cut the checkered plate into two halves in order to get the fan blade through. And keep in mind, we're only going to display the top section of the fan through the slit. The rest of it will be mostly hidden underneath the board. And hopefully, most people won't notice the cut since it is in line with that checkered design. Then we cut the bottom half of the hollow chest board, as well as the slits for the PVC pipe. This will be the center column for the board. These slits on the side are so the fan blades can pass through on the bottom. We then fastened the fan blade to the PVC pipe, and we put a block of wood in there so we could get the fan as close to the middle of the pipe as possible. And then I realized I made a big mistake with this build. I had miscalculated my measurements. The only way that I would be able to display the monsters at the size that I needed was if I raised the fan out of the board an extra few inches, which meant half the fan's middle section would be visible. I was pretty bummed about this. But we continued on with the project. Joel cut a small square for the middle section of the fan to pop out, and I spray painted the PVC pipe silver to match the board, and I fastened everything back together and placed the top onto the center column. And before we knew it, the project was complete. And there you go. Here is our hollow chest display with hologram light characters. Is it perfect? Not at all. Could it be displayed like this in Smuggler's Run? Probably not, but I still think this made for a fun DIY build, and it doesn't look too bad as long as you're looking at it from the right fixed vantage point. If I were to do this again, I would first try and get a higher resolution fan blade so the monsters wouldn't look quite so pixelated. I would also try and get the middle section of the fan blade completely underneath the board, and maybe even try and add a second LED fan so there would be two layers of monsters, allowing for more of a parallax effect when you move around. But all of this kind of got me thinking. Is there any tech out there that can create a true three-dimensional hologram-like display that's viewable from any angle and doesn't require any special glasses? And that's when I discovered Voxon, a company that creates volumetric hologram displays that can be viewed from any angle and doesn't require special glasses. And you can buy one right now for close to $7,000. But here's what I found really interesting. They've apparently reached out to Disney in the past to try and populate that empty hollow chest table with real hologram monsters at Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. And they even made some prototypes. Here's how these holograms work. The Voxon VX2 uses a dual high-speed LED array, which is basically a wall of LEDs on both sides that rotate really fast. As it spins, it displays 2D image slices of a 3D object at specific angles. Because of the speed at which the LED matrix moves, the human eye blends these slices together. This creates the illusion of a fully formed 3D object floating in space, which can be viewed from multiple angles. This is all possible because of the eye's inability to perceive such rapid changes, known as persistence of vision. So the images meld into each other, creating what looks like a floating solid object. Now, as you can see, they have a clear enclosure around the display, but that's there more so to prevent people from touching the spinning mechanism. The 3D graphics can still be seen without that enclosure, but if they were to ever add something like this to Smuggler's Run, it would more than likely turn this photo opportunity into a roped off illusion viewed from a distance. Another thing to think about with this kind of illusion is noise. For example, the LED fan blade that I used for this project is very loud. I noticed on the Voxon page that they have an FAQ and one of the questions was this. How loud is the Voxon VX2 during operation? And here was the answer. 
The Voxon VX2 operates quietly, with minimal noise generated by the rotating platform. The device is engineered to run smoothly and efficiently, reducing operational noise to a level that is generally unobtrusive. The noise from the cooling is likely to be the most audible component. I found that pretty interesting, so I wonder if this quiet operation that they're talking about is with the clear plastic case on top of it. I don't know. Regardless of all that, I still think some version of this technology would be so cool to see in Smuggler's Run or any part of Galaxy's Edge. So what do you think? Would you want to see more hologram-like technology in the parks? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. It really helps me out and maybe even consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching.